Welcome to Made in Alberta. I'm Barb Allard and this is part two of Forests for the Future. There are three major Alberta industries all fragmenting the boreal forest. Sometimes they're in competition with each other and each wants to increase activity in their sectors. There's a growing realization that we need an integrated strategy or we will lose some wildlife species and jobs in the future. It's going to take some old-fashioned cooperation, plus the help of some new science and technology. Steve Cumming is a forest researcher working in association with the University of Alberta's Department of Renewable Resources. You can't simultaneously maximize cows and energy and forestry and wilderness. You can't do all those things everywhere at once. And yet that's what the province is still trying to do. And as long as that's the case, it's fair to say that nobody's managing the forest. People are managing small pieces of it. At Boreal Ecosystems Research Limited, they're creating computer models that mimic natural processes in the forest, like fires and forest aging. Then they add data that represents human activity. The goal is to show how over the next 100 years we can have sustainable forest industries and habitat for old growth species, like many songbirds. It's fairly simple to say, well, we want to say songbirds stop cutting the old forest. That would be one solution, but it's probably not acceptable socially. What would be acceptable socially is yeah, cut a little bit less of it. How much less? That's a political question. The point is, once you've decided to do that, well, how, it's, it's the details that are actually quite difficult. It matters how you do this. It matters completely how you do this. And the less you leave behind, the more it matters. And there's only probably a fairly small number of good ways to do it, and the trick is to find them. And that's what the computer models are supposed to help us do. Science can help us manage the forest in an integrated way, but we also require the human will to work together toward this common goal. You have to have some way of integrating the combined activities of the energy sector, the various parts of the forestry sector, and the agriculture, all of which in themselves have different subcomponents. All of these things have to be brought together somehow and some kind of long-term, sustainable plan that incorporates economic values and conservation has to be implemented, has to be agreed to, and has to be enforced. Preserving forests for the future is a question of agreeing on our values and on what we are willing to compromise. Next week, we'll learn more about ecological and economic issues in the boreal from the perspective of the Woodland Cree First Nations. <laughs>